am Dan Garcia, and today we're going to learn how to play bulerías. Okay, bulería is a palo flamenco, a style of flamenco. It's actually really popular and very sought out because it's very challenging more than anything. Okay, it's fast, the meter is complicated. So if you can play bulerías, you can be accepted in any kind of flamenco circle. So it's a good style to learn, but it is a bit challenging, but I'm going to try to explain it in a way that you're going to catch it very quick. So bulerías is played pretty fast, but it follows the same 12-note uh, cycle as soleares does. A couple of differences, though. Okay, the accents are in the same places. Okay, so in soleares we were doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, also notice that I'm counting beats 11, 12 as 1 and 2, just because it's too long to say the syllables. So 1, 2, it's 11, 12, just so you know. Now, in bulerías, we were counting much faster. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One. Okay, so on and so on. So that's how you count bulerías. Okay, and there are many theories on how to count it, what's the best way, what's the right way. Okay, I think what gets confusing about playing bulerías and trying to follow bulerías when you're listening to them and when you're learning them is where exactly is beat one. Okay, in soleares we count one, two, three, and that one is actually beat one. That's actually where you start playing. That's where the falsetas usually begin. But in bulerías, it's not. And I think that's what gets a lot of people confused. Our beat one in bulerías is really beat 12. Okay. That's our, what we feel is beat one in our music. That's where the falsetas start. That's where the singer starts. That's where everything starts. The only thing is it's counted as beat 12, but that's where everything begins. So let's try to put the bulería compás together in a very basic way, okay? We're going to start by just playing our A chord position on beat 12. Okay, I'm going to go all through the cycle, and we're going to start adding elements that you're going to build into the cycle until we kind of get something similar to a bulería sound. And then all you have to do is embellish it, and you're good to go. So let's start. So again, the count is, instead of counting, instead of starting the count on 1, 2, 3, I'm going to start it on the 11, 12. Okay, and that's how it's usually counted. Okay, remember 11, 12, I'm going to count as 1, 2. This is how we start counting. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2. Okay, we're going to go a lot slower at the beginning, then we'll speed it up. So remember, 12 beat is our real one. So we're going to strum our A chord on beat 12. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 1, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2. Okay? So I encourage you to do that for a while until you get comfortable just counting those beats. Okay, the next element we're going to add is the closing of the cycle, which is on beat 10. Okay, so on beat 10, I'm going to do a rasgueado followed by a mute. And every time on beat 10, we're going to close the cycle. And it's going to sound like this 1, 2, 1, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so on beat 10, we do pa, 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 and we mute the guitar. Okay, one more time. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so again, I encourage you to do this for a good while until it feels natural to you. Okay, the next big point in bulerías is beat three. Beat three is where the harmony changes to the frigid mode. Okay, so we on beat one, which is beat 12, we go one, two, one, two, three. This is where we go to the B flat chord, okay, on three. So let's include that in our cycle. One, two, one, two, three. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. OK, 
Okay, notice also that on beat 10, when we close, I go back to the tonic chord. Okay, to A position. Okay, so now we got a couple good spots on the Buleria cycle. Let's keep adding elements. I'm going to add a golpe on accent 6 and 8. Okay, just a regular golpe. Then we'll spice it up. Okay, so again, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so you do that for a while until it feels natural. Now, besides the golpe, after the golpe, I'm going to add a couple indexes up. I'm going to get with this rhythm. Okay, it's like a dotted 16th note. Okay, and that's going to come after my golpe on beat 6 and beat 8. Let's go for it. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the next step would be to actually play beat six and eight with the golpe. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. One, two, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. At this point, basically, you're playing a buleria, okay? That's, those are the basic elements of buleria. Everything else is just adding little embellishments and just grooving with it. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Have fun playing bularias.